I'm going to was treating her very well. I mean, this, this maybe can show us and show me also. This example of love. Usually people or two people in a relationship, they live together, fighting, da -da 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 -da. but when, when they separate, when one dies, or they separate, they, they remember that they hadn't given everything they could to, to her, and they start mourn, mourning, or they start to go to the cemetery, looking these flowers. Why are these flowers if the person is dead? Love, love the one that is with you while he is with you, not one when he is gone. <laughs> this was the lesson that Abuanya showed us. So, Became, became everything became more dangerous because the water had flooded and it was flooding a lot. It, it came closer and closer to the house of Abuela. What was the river that, that you have to walk quite a distance to, to go to now was close, very close. And a bad thing, very bad thing that gave me so much suffering <laughs> was that the river would would be running all the time and when the water is running it is fresh, it is good, so we will drink it it is good to drink, even though it is in the general what, water is running so it is filtered and there are no parasites nothing. but when everything got in flood the river flooded it was a crook, a small stream it flooded and it became a stagnant water. It was not running. And with every day it would become more and more black, more and more stinking. And you couldn't drink it anymore. If you drink, you, you risk your life. There are so many parasites of all kinds. So we had to, bo we, so we had to, to boil water. The same water that was, became more and more black you would have to boil it. But to boil you, you need the wood. And the wood was there in the water, in the flooded area, so you cannot go and take it. And, and also, it is, it that also surprised me, but jungle, there is so much this fauna, flora, flora around, these trees and things, but these trees are not real trees, they are more like, like, their wood is wet. It's, it's kind of it's more like a plant than a tree. It's not like trees I have here that are very good for burning. In the jungle, in, in the jungle, there are only some trees like this, and they are not so eaten, not so so often to find. Mostly, they are the trees that are half tree and half a plant. So the the wood is is not so good for burning. And it was difficult to have water, to boil water, to have it to drink. The moments have arrived when there was no water. And I had to survive, I had to start to drink my own urine. And I was doing it. It was the first time. And the first time it was... Um, it was it was strange, <laughs> and the taste was <laughs> strong, but after time you get used to it, because in order to survive you have to, you know, <laughs> you have to survive. Abuelo? You asked me how was Abuelo. <laughs> I don't know how was Abuelo, but he seems that he can live without food and without water. <laughs> the only food and water that he needs is is it tobacco? <laughs> I don't know how how he could live without water, without drinking. He wouldn't have the necessity. <laughs> Everything got in water. 
and uh, and I would put nets to catch the fish. I have uploaded some videos on my uh, this channel in Spanish, I think, about me taking these fishes from the net. <laughs> the funny thing is that sometimes, many times you would find these piranhas in the, in, in the net, and they would be like moving. And if you, you, you can take this piranha out of the net, but it's moving so much, so it would just run away and or attack you. No, they don't attack you. <laughs> If, if it is alone, I think there is no, but maybe it will just run away. But I don't want to lose it, so I have to kill it in the net and then take it out. Because in the net it is, it is stuck, the fish is stuck. I have to kill it, but how to kill it? The technique with piranha would be that I, I would have to take this piranha with its head facing me and I would have to bite its head and crush it, crush the neck and kill it. <laughs> and it was... The first time it was weird because you take this piranha and it, its mouth, it, they have like this, this teeth, so sharp teeth, it's doing like this, <laughs> biting. So you have to be careful because because it cannot bite your tongue and these teeth are really sharp <laughs> it was the way we would take these piranhas mm. The most extreme thing I experienced there in the jungle was when anaconda almost killed me. Almost. <laughs> I put the nets in a, di in a different place. That was more far away. That was in, in the place that usually would be uh, a place where you can walk the surface. But now it was in water, everything, like I said, it was in flood. So I would put, I put it in another place. But to get there, I had to to swim in the jungle. Swim or walk, swim is easier. For like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to come to that place. And everything in this jungle, you're in this water, in this black pitch water that also has smell is beginning what must be was starting to, to, to stink because the water is stagnant and I was taking out the fishes that time there was no fish and I was surprised why and then I felt something my intuition and also I heard some sound a different sound as if a reptile, a crocodile or, or they have like caiman in the Amazon in general. Or anaconda as a, as, as a huge body, a huge log would slip into the water. You know? Like something heavy would enter the water. And I became more alert. And there was another sound coming closer. And then, in front of me, right in front of me, like some four meters away, the water is like this, right? And you, you are me, you, you are watching me. So, from the water, this, the body, the black body of like this di diameter, you know, Anaconda coming straight to me, four meters in front of me, or three meters in front of me. 
I have my knife. Maybe you, maybe you have seen it in, in, in my videos of my fishing in the channel. I'll go with a knife. But this water is dark, I cannot see anything. Really. I cannot do anything with this knife to this huge anaconda. This is it. This is it. Here it ends. <laughs> I smiled to myself. Because there was adrenaline within me. But also there was no fear. If I have to die, okay. The anaconda is a killer. It is very strong. It goes, it will twist around your body and it is so strong that, that it breaks your ribcage everything you cannot breathe it squeezes you it, it breaks your ribcage you cannot breathe and it moves like this with its head like this and then <laughs> the story is finished <laughs> It happened then. <laughs> Nothing happened. I stayed like this, alert, ready to fight. Nothing happened. I was in the water like this up to here. When a thing happened, I, I thought maybe to escape, but there was no way to escape. If I would go back to the house, if I would go back to the surface, I have to go right right towards the, the anaconda. The other way was <laughs> worse. And uh, I thought to climb the tree. Anaconda <laughs> that will want kill, wouldn't help me against the anaconda. Maybe against some crocodile. Against it maybe it would, it, it, it would help. They, they don't get in the trees. But snakes do. So there was nothing I could do. But finally nothing happened. <laughs> and you know what? What I have done? You think I ran back to the cows swimming? Now I continue checking my net issues. If you have to die, you die. You know? No. <laughs> So I continued checking my fish net. There was nothing. Or maybe one fish. And I swam back. That was the closest time I got in front of death while being there in the jungle. Another story to to, to scare people with. <laughs>